Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So recently I've been trying to solo H Real after quite a few attempts and finally managed to do so. Um, I have around 51k stats here for this attempt. Uh, it's not an easy boss by any stretch, so let's just uh, review and see what I did well and what I didn't do so well. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's carry on. So I really don't think there's that much to phase 1 except for the first burst you have to try to avoid getting hit by the legs and the bullets so you can uh, as much as possible clear in one burst but even if you don't clear in one burst it doesn't really matter so here I just skipped to the second segment and after this I will also just skip to phase 2 uh, Here because most of the burst lines are capping so I decided to just use blood for blood on one side and then after switching dimension I will use my uh, seed ring for the other side um, but then if the damage cap is removed then it's not an issue anymore and the releasing part for the third V skill is so satisfying to watch it's so many lines and the damage is so insane When you are soloing H-Wheel, um, for the segment test you will always be teleported into the purple dimension. So for you to get the yellow orb and generate the protective shield, um, you want to put a summon or damage over time inside the blue dimension. Um, so usually I will try to jump to the blue dimension to prepare for the segment test. The segment, uh, I summon my chasing ghost here, I'm not sure if I'm summoning... Anything else? Yeah, I only summoned the go chasing, chasing ghost on the blue side. And then um, I couldn't spot the eye because it was really delayed because of the server lag. So I decided to use iframe to dodge it instead. As you can see, there are purple balls and uh, yellow balls falling down because the chasing ghost is hitting. Um, so I think I will try to cancel the chasing ghost so that I don't die. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, buffing decent skills here, not much else. <laughs> so here I'm just trying to uh, prepare for phase 2. I already switched up my curring. Uh, it's on the number key 4, uh, it's not on the keyboard overlay here, but uh, it's on the empty space 4. So for me the most important part for phase 2 is that I would need to try to avoid getting hit as much as possible to generate moonlight. Um, because uh, I don't use BOD and um, there's no familiar in Maple C, so there's no way for us to uh, heal except for the moonlight. I don't think I did that good of a job initially. But, so that's why you can see I already used my curving here and I'm using my Hoya iframe trying to generate the first heal of Moonlight. Uh, that's why I started bursting after I got enough to heal the first time. But then I failed because um, I didn't realize my clone was uh, not buffed, the buff ran out, so I couldn't buff my hyper clone until like I'm already like 10 plus seconds into the burst, the bind is already over. So I missed out on quite a lot of damage because the hyper clone is uh, the majority of my burst damage. Um, I made the P1 <laughs> harder than he needed to be. <laughs> oh, As you heard, I was panicking quite a bit in this run. <laughs> uh, P2 is really just not that easy for me. Um, I think I'll panic even more in the later part.
Oh, even reviewing this video makes me feel tired. Phase 2 in HV is so difficult for me. Man, I gotta play better. And because the server is lagging, I think I was in a, in a laggy channel. The, the lag is just not striking consistently. There's a long delay between each test. So for this blue boss that's chasing after you, if you dash past them or uh, flash jump really quickly past them, they will just disappear and not damage you. For Ho Young, you can fly past them. Um, that's a nice perk for playing this class. And those boss, man, they are really, really annoying. Uh, they, it's very hard to dodge um, in certain situations because there are so many other things you need to dodge. And um, yeah, and they do quite a bit of damage as well because they spawn quite often. Here I got knocked into a web and I lost my dog here, I think. Uh -huh, and I had to iframe because uh, if, if I release the iframe, I would die immediately again. Um, I think I, I have so much moonlight here, but I didn't moonlight to heal. Uh, such a stupid mistake. Saving moonlight for next run, I guess. I think I'll probably just wait out the death timer here and then just wait for the cooldown on the burst to prepare for phase 3 as well. So here, I think once I make sure all my burst is up and curling is up, so I just decided to hit him and enter P3. If my skill is not ready yet, I will probably drag on a little bit longer. As long as you don't hit the uh, tail end bit for P2, you will not enter P3. Ah, oh, I'm buffing my grandest bless and died. Okay, so just buffing up my burst. Um, I see poison, so I think I'm gonna bind. Yeah, I bound here. I think this spot I'm standing is quite safe. Probably I wouldn't get striked by legs if I don't move. I use current here to dodge the bullet. 
occurring is such a blessing for our server. Uh, it makes H feel so much easier than it should be. So I'm releasing my burst here. Um, after that, I think it's just mostly moving left and right. Try to dodge all the damage. I'm not too sure on this, but I think any damage you take in phase 3 will stop you from regening more length. And then the bullets will, do, will definitely reduce more length. So, yeah, I think I was just trying to avoid as much attack as possible. Based on my past runs, I know I can survive around 4 minutes here. So, basically, I can get off 2 rounds of burst because my burst cooldown is 200 seconds. So I think until then I'll just uh, try to do as much damage as possible and then wait for the cooldown for the burst. Uh, Hoyong burst do a lot of damage but then the line is not that fantastic. So I think when the damage cap removes it's gonna benefit the class quite a bit. Although I heard the poison will also be nerfed to 1.3 times. Oh, I tried to bind here, but then I think he's probably a few seconds off, so he, he's still on bind resist. Um, I heard the poison for the H wheel. Right now, if you get a poison, you do double damage to H wheel. Um, but after that, I think the damage cap removal patch will come with a 1.3 times multiplier on poison. Um, not sure how that will affect. I'm not even sure if it's a. Uh, it will make the run easier or harder, so I just have to wait and see, I guess. Ah! Under normal situations, uh, it's actually quite easy to manage the whole young energy, energy gauge system. Uh, you can always have the Vortex and the Chasing Ghost up. But in, in situations like this, um, where the boss fight is quite intense and then sometimes you die, it's a little bit tricky to get the energy up again to summon if you don't have your Hyper. I should probably Heroes Wheel out of the skill lock just now um, to dodge it. Uh, I got knocked back here as well. I think dying P3 is not that bad for me because Upon revival, I have a second of absolute eye frame rate, so I can get quite a bit of moonlight with that, and it will extend my time uh, to play with the webs. Here, my burst is up, so I'm just trying to buff up and burst. I have curring, I haven't used it yet. Um, okay, I died, so I have a second of eye frame here. I'll probably use it after. I'll probably use the curring right after that. I got some moonlight. Okay, I think, yeah, I'm using the current here. Okay, poison, nice. Oh, I think this burst is pretty. Oh, I'm trying to release it here, but then I got super knockback. I mean, release the third B, but I got super knockback, so I couldn't cast anything. So I missed the release parts, which missed out quite a bit of damage. Quite a big mistake here, honestly. I'm using my iframe here to generate enough moonlight, but then just nice, once I release, he knocked me into the web. I rest upon the poison, and then actually I did quite a lot of damage with this uh, particular death. So, uh, I think I only have 3 life left after the web fill up the screen. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, at this point, I didn't think I was going to clear anymore because my burst is 1 minute plus cooldown. I was not sure if I can drag that long until my burst is up. Um, turned out I did. Uh, notice Hoyang has uh, a 20 second iframe, so it's off cooldown. So I think I'll use that to buy some time. My distance skill is also going to disappear so I think I will use one of the deaths to buff his skills. Probably here. Oh no I didn't. Hmm. Oh here I use my iframe to buy time. Um 
if not for this high frame, I don't think I could have uh, waited long enough for my burst to be up. To be honest, I noticed here I can I can summon chasing ghosts here, so that might have done a little bit more chip damage. Oh well. Once the wet fill up the screen, there's just very little room for error and very and also very little that I can actually do. Let's see. Poison, miss, it's fine, not bursting on this one. But that skill is still on cooldown. So hang on the ropes to buff these and skills for better cast animation. Oh I could have cast Butterfly Dream here but I didn't. Uh, Butterfly Dream is 10% final damage, I missed it out here and I don't think I will have enough time to cast it later as well because I need to use it to summon a tiger I'll probably rest on Poison here So Poison rest, summon tiger buff up, I missed my bind here I think, yeah I did miss my bind, he's on the eye animation uh, I use my current here Trying to bind him, but then he's in another eye animation. Bind again. I release my bus. <sighs> finally. So many rounds into this boss. He finally died. I'm never soloing this boss again until I have to do the liberation quest. Thanks for watching, guys.